<laughs> As I uh, kicked things off here for uh, the September 42 turn, I noticed the turn track, this isn't one long turn track, it's turns and reinforcements, so I could slide the reinforcements over there. Uh, that's kind of neat idea. Extra little boxes for the reinforcements. With the dates in them, I thought it was another year going by here. And, uh, wow, it was kind of interesting. Anyway, so taking a break from my election addiction for no real good reason. Pulled a German army around, um, armored army. It cost me a couple of points to do. And I'm going to launch an attack here. Both sides said yes as to committing something. Well, in the German case, it has to be an air unit, and in the Russian case, it is too, because I'm already getting a guards bonus. I'd rather save my uh, little tanks event for a pure infantry unit. Um, I'm not quite sure whether I can even do that with the tank effect here. Leg unit except shock. Yeah, I'm assuming that also excludes the guards. I'm not sure. If not, this might be a good place to do it because this guy's cut off and then it's going to really cut this guy and actually isolate him. This guy's not isolated because he has a unit next to him, which gives him some defensive support. But we have the air attacks and both units are moving into the air attack. They don't lose a sortie immediately. They have to fight a battle for this. And we quickly look through that. Let's do the air battle first. The attacker gets plus two for being German. Uh, and then we each get minus four. So the Germans are at minus two. The Russians are at minus four. We'll see what this does. I haven't really looked at the chart, so I'm kind of, you know, winging this as usual. Okay, so the attacker, ugh, that's not good. But the defender, also not good. So we get an asterisk, both sides add a sortie, and I assume that's all that happens here, is we're both up to five sorties now. Now, I want to be careful, but anyway. Here's our, let's go to the ground combat. We got plus two for German. Plus two for armor. The Russians will get plus one for their uh, shock. We can read through the rest of this and see if there's anything else here. It's not an isolated unit. Um, no air support was uh, applied, I think. I'm not absolutely certain of that. The combat was due to both sides committing an air unit C air support. Star. Each side gets the air support. So we each actually get plus two. So that's probably good for the Germans. At plus six there. We'll see what this all works out as. Well, they got a nice big roll too. And now we're at plus three for the Russians. And not so good. So, they get a Defender Retreat plus two. Well, the Defender, the plus two is only for air battle. The Defender Retreat is enough to weaken the unit, but I haven't gotten rid of that unit. Unfortunately, Germans don't have enough points uh, to continue attacking. They could pull out somewhere. I'm not sure. This would be kind of safer. But I've got this... Uh, ability to prevent them <sighs> I gotta think because if I stay here I'm cutting I'm cutting his retreat route but on the other hand my own route is ugly of course I don't have a supply route no matter what so I think we've got to do or die now and I'll just stay there as I rotate this German counter, I remember uh, Sal contacted me. These little things were to indicate which units have already moved, which certainly would work well and be easier to see than uh, just rotating the counters the way they do. But for this game, I think rotating the counters works fine. I'm not sure whether or not uh, there's going to be some kind of little markers included in, in the uh, full unconditional surrender. Probably be a good idea. This game makes you think painfully hard. Uh, 
Anyway, uh, trying to figure out what to do next with the Germans, but then I realized this is not a leg unit, it's a motorized unit, so or a mobile unit, so it couldn't have had the tanks anyway, so that clarifies that issue. Well, the next step was an abortive assault again on Rostov, and I didn't take it, I didn't get any real gain there. And then an attack up into that uh, guard's army, beat that, actually there should be another one of these here, but they're both getting cleaned up right now. Uh, then through a couple of attacks destroyed the uh, armor, and then rode down here, not enough movement points to attack again, but at least I'm in supply. Everything looks like it's in better shape than it was. There's some danger of like a Russian, maybe, nah, they can't really get here because they'd be traveling from zone to zone. So they can't even really cut our supply. Now comes the problem though. Germans are basically out of points. I don't want to spend so many points that I can't recover my air points. Especially in the situation I'm in here. So I think I'm done moving German units. The only real question is my Hungarian. I have a point for him. He's not really interested in attacking. That would just be an invitation to bring the tanks in. I got enough problems there. And then I got another Romanian point. Mm, I think the Romanians actually got moved down too many. They only made an attack, but I, I can recover a strength point instead, which, you know, my line looks okay to me at least. Maybe I'm missing something. This looks a little weak here, but it looks like I have enough units to cover everything. So I think I'm going to pass here, hand the turn over to the Russians, and now I immediately make a supply check and everything is in supply. So I can turn them all back up. I didn't really gain my objective, but I did destroy a couple of good Russian units. Um, which cost more for them to recover. If you look at the... Uh, it makes sense, right? If you look at the mobilization, mobilizing um, anything except leg units is going to cost me. And the mobile one costs two. That's what was destroyed here. And that'll be reduced strength. And then... Uh, what uh, improving it is going to cost two more so it's more expensive for them to recover their mobile units that may slow them down somewhat we'll see uh, what i forgot to mention the first attack here involved another air attack they again canceled out getting an asterisk which increased the air attack value i think i screwed up and didn't take the reduced uh, value of the uh, guard unit into account giving it the minus two on there but the net result is essentially the same. They were destroyed by being forced to retreat. I don't think any worse could have happened. Well, the Russians opened things up with this guy, and it looked like it was a good idea. They fired off their tanks. Um, that gave them, well, just a plus two for the armor against the poor Hungarians, but overall that seemed like a good attack. But their roll was terrible. It was a one. They got a three total. Against the 5, they got this AS. I haven't seen this result before. Attacker stopped. Not only is the attack over, but the activation has ended. So even though I only spent one movement point on that activation, well, two actually to attack the hex, two movement points on that activation, it's just been stopped. And I was kind of hoping to dislodge that and maybe break around, capture myself at least a city up here to cause some problems and a threat on the whole uh, axis line. Didn't happen. Now what I really need to do is I need to move a unit into position to help draw out my line a little bit further. Carefully keeping an eye on my Russian points here, I shift one unit down to here in order to help contain the Germans, and another one down from Stalingrad. Now what does this do me? Well the bonus here is I can now build in Stalingrad. And I looked at my points, I'm going to have three for this, and I believe it's three to add uh, an air unit, right? Uh, mobilizing an air unit is also three. So that's six points, and I can build three of my ground units at full strength. So I'm going to have all my points. As far as I see it, the Russians are playing a waiting game for the most part. So all they really need to do is stop the Germans earlier than they did historically. And it looks like I've done that, really. Um, I'm not letting them get as far. They're not getting to Rostov as far as it looks right now. We'll see. But 
if that's the case, then I should be able to pummel them back more easily. And right now, city-wise, that's an interesting count. One, two, three, four, five, six cities for me uh, as the Russians, and it looks like only three for the Germans. So I don't think I even have to advance as it stands, but that should be fairly easy if we look at this weaker side here. The Germans don't have more troops coming until uh, down here in November. They start to get more air units. And there's our production, and it's quite devastating. We see a Russian unit here threading Voronezh. Going to have to pull back there. Um, air unit down here with my defensive pasture there at threat as well. It does not look at all good for the Germans. The only thing that they have going for them is a big gap right here, which maybe they could take Stalingrad. But, nah, you know, <laughs> we'd be stretching way too far. So to me, it looks like we actually have to fall back. Uh, at this point and that's going to be not pretty so where are we well we didn't win yet with either side so we go to the turn marker segment this shifts down but these guys it appears slide down to be able to be purchased next turn now there's this a unit removed from the reinforcement track is oh okay a unit here put on the map yeah I think that's right. Okay. Well, we're ready to start another turn.